All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everybody who's out there watching this video. Let's have a little discussion about your Red Devil Power Color RX580. All right, now <clears throat> I've had a couple questions from some people that were looking at YouTube videos on why am I using the Power Color over the NVIDIA? Um, or even other chipsets from AMD. Um, well, from my research and my trial and error, um, I have found out that the PowerColor AMD RX 80s definitely have the best hash rate for the price and power consumption. So what are you gonna get from it? What should you expect? Rule number one. Guys, this is a very, very volatile market right now. If you're not prepared to lose, be careful. That's all I can say because there's a lot of articles, a lot of videos, a lot of people talking about how you can lose a lot of money and there's a lot of videos and articles on people talking about how you can make even more money. So, you know, the reality comes down to, you know, are you willing to try it? And if you are willing to try it, you need to be careful. So. Let's get back to these cards. Now, with these cards, you're trying to get as much hashing power out of it um, without overclocking it too much. Now, from my experience, these cards are getting approximately 18 to 19 millihashes per second out of the box. Um, now, that's still decent. It's not bad if you go on to the mining calculators um, you know, or go to whattomine.com. Um, it will give you an idea, you know, based on your millihashes per second um, with your power usage and power cost of how much profit you will be making. Now, after overclocking these, you can get them up to about 30 millihash per second while you're dual mining. Now, this is excellent compared to any of the other cards out there um, for the power usage, power draw, and the actual price and cost of the card. You can't beat it. Now, let's unbox it a little bit and I'll talk briefly about this graphics card. As you can see, this is a brand new card. I will be implementing it into my system soon. I just wanted to show you guys the basic setup of this card, how it plugs in, the millihash it's getting per second, and how to use it. Unboxing it, it's always nice because you know that this is money in the bank or money that's going to generate to your bank. All right, guys, each one should come sealed from the factory. If you can see this, there's a manufacturer seal right there. Let's go ahead and rip it open. Gotta love that. Guys, also make sure that you're wearing a grounding bracelet or that you are grounded or you're wearing rubber soles anytime that you're dealing with any of these cards. Right now, it's not a big deal when I hook up any power, but when you're putting these cards in your system, make sure you're grounded. This is a brand new Red Devil AMD RX 580. As you can see, you have your DVI outputs. HDMI outputs on the front side. You have your bio switch right here. You guys can see that and that will always be right next to your PCI connectors. Now, guys, when you're first implementing these systems, always check it. Just make sure the fans are okay. Nothing really shaking around. Everything sounds good. I always make sure that the caps and covers are on there, as you can see. Now guys, this is a very, very simple system. What you're gonna need is for each card, you're gonna need a PCI extender. If you plan on hooking this up to like an ACE, AS Rock motherboard or any multi-GPU uh, motherboard, <clears throat> your PCI connectors, as I said, will be going right here. These will be run off powered PCI connectors. And then this PCI connector will be running from a USB cable to your motherboard, all right? Guys, make sure, make sure, you see this full line here, okay? Make sure that when you're plugging in your power that you use every single connector. I've seen people out there on YouTube, I've read articles of people saying that they're powering it with half 
um, or even some of the quarter. Well, guess what? It won't work. And if it does work, you're going to run into problems. You'll blow your card, and then you're just in. It doesn't make sense. Okay. All right. So, guys, amazing card. Really the best bet for the money, power usage, and your millihash per second. This is it. All right. So, if you're going to build the Ethereum rig, make sure you divulge into one of these or do your research and get into something else. Happy hashing for 2018, guys, and good luck.